All right, finishing up here with example three. This is gonna be uh, the most complicated of the examples, so hang in here with me. Earth has a mass of 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, and each square of the grid below has a width of two million meters, okay? So two million meters is gonna be the distance from here to here, right? It would also be, by the way, the distance from here to here, because these are squares. So the width and height of each square is two million meters. So this is a very zoomed out view of the Earth. Determine the magnitude and direction of the gravitational field at locations P out here, Q, and R. Okay, three points in space outside of Earth. So first of all, let's deal with this word, um, the direction, the direction of the gravitational field at each of the locations. Um, so, and by the way, there is a tiny arrow right here, which uh, is, should have been excluded, so you can ignore that. You can ignore that little arrow right there. Um, gravity is an attractional force, and so in the space around the Earth, little masses would be attracted to the center of the Earth. So if we're thinking about the direction of the gravitational field at P, Q, and R, we would just um, go to those locations and point towards the center of the Earth. And what I mean by that is this. Um, at location P, let's say that um, an astronaut was in space out there. The astronaut would, and that's way too big, the astronaut would experience a pull this way. And at R, an astronaut would experience a pull this way towards the center of the Earth. And at Q, an astronaut would experience a pull this way, okay? And that would continue, right? All the way around the Earth, the gravitational field is pointing towards the center of it. So we've got the direction of the gravitational field at P, Q, and R, but now let's actually calculate the strength of the field at those locations. So starting with, uh, starting with P, let's first figure out how far away P is from the center of the Earth. So here's the center of the Earth. And I want to know this dimension from the center of the Earth to P. Okay, each square is two million meters wide. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six squares. Six times two is 12. So that must be 12 million meters. I think I said miles before, million meters before. So we can write that as 12 times 10 to the sixth meters. All right, so um, let's take that distance and our gravitational field equation and figure out the strength of the field here at location P. So um, at location P, the field strength, which we use as G, lowercase g, is equal to the universal gravitational constant times the mass, in this case of the Earth, divided by the radius away from the Earth that you are squared. So we're just gonna plug in the numbers. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters squared per kilogram squared. The mass of Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And we are a distance of 12 times 10 to the sixth meters away. Don't forget to square it. So we end up getting a field strength of 2.77 newtons per kilogram at location P. Now, um, let's say that we were right uh, that we were right here at position X. Well, we know that on the surface of the Earth, the field strength is 9.81 newtons per kilogram. So if we move out to P, we would expect the field strength to get weaker than 9.81. So we're just checking to see if our answer makes sense. And um, this seems to make sense based on the fact that it's less than 9.81. All right, now we're gonna go to location Q, which is over here. Um, and notice that Q is actually a little bit closer to the center of the Earth. Let's figure out this distance from Q to the center. I'm gonna change colors here. So from Q to the center, so now we're looking like from here to here. So that's one, two, three, four squares. Each square is two million meters. So that would be eight 
million, which is eight times 10 to the sixth meters. All right, so similar work, similar work. Uh, in fact, I can copy most of this. and bring it down here. I'm just gonna change the color because now we're talking about location Q. All right, so location Q is um, it's all the same details except we're changing the distance. So now we're eight million meters away. So that's eight times 10 to the sixth meters. And what we get uh, when we multiply this out is six, 0.22 newtons per kilogram. So wait a second, compared to here, we got stronger, stronger field strength. Well, look, um, location Q is closer to the center of the Earth than location P was. So that makes sense. We would expect the gravitational field to be stronger at Q. All right, now finishing up at location R. Here's R out here in the corner. And I'm gonna switch colors one more time. We need to know this distance from the center of Earth to R. Well, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of geometry. So, um, uh, let's see, so from, this is like a little triangle here, right? We know that this side of the triangle is 12 times 10 to the sixth meters. Uh, this top of the triangle is eight times 10 to the sixth. So this is a Pythagorean theorem opportunity. And um, the way that I can write that out would be uh, like this. So um, the distance to P squared plus the distance to Q squared would be equal to the distance to R squared. P squared is 12 million miles. Uh, the distance to P is 12 million miles. The distance to Q is 8 million miles. Uh, so we can just do the math and figure out that the distance to R is 14.4 million miles. So now I can label that on my picture. 14.4 times 10 to the sixth meters. So I am again <clears throat> going to do very similar work. I'm just going to copy my math from before and make a couple of changes. So if I want to find the distance to R, whoops, let me, let me stay with my colors here. All right, to R, we're going to change the distance down here on the bottom. Okay, so this is 14.4 times 10 to the sixth meters. And so uh, if I do the calculator work, I get 1.92 newtons per kilogram. Uh, notice that's the weakest of all, weakest of all fields because R is the farthest away from the center of the Earth.